right, this is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize. The number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on the long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new. respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes. There is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. That is man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued. And we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. All right, early round action here as we get a look at the UFC flyweight contender, Brandon Royval. He believes, to a man, he is the most exciting fighter in this flyweight division. An outstanding mix of knockouts and submissions. And he believes tonight he will get another finish to add to his total. Oh, big Superman punch there! Nice eyes on the defensive side. Nice strike lands. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call <laughs> all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter tonight. <laughs> Doubling up on the jab. Closes the gap and gets the single collar time out. Nice punch, man. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice shot there by the champ. Whiffs on that offer. Just over three minutes now to go. And he landed a nice hook shot there, DC. He landed the hook exactly where he needed it to be and threw it with ill intent. Tags him with the uppercut. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Punches and punches, punches and punches. Let's go. Let's work, guys. Just with that attempt. That head kick landed. Just turning his hip over into the leg kick. Just over two minutes, round one. Look at the whip action that 
comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, well timed with that team. Nice straight right hand. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Great body kick. Royval's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. So there it is. Longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Ooh, what a punch. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Boyball gets the takedown. This is where he wants to be. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Got to be careful here. Now he's going full mount. Big ground and pound. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, man, that kick looked like it hurt. Oh. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Great block there. Good jab there by the champion. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Just missing on the high kick there. Nice counter left hook to the head. Royval's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Oh, doing work with the jab. Just misses with the left hook. All right, there it is, another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps trying to set something up high later on? Well, I think it's, I think it's all, it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, and then when those hands drop, you go over the top of that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attacks up top, and that is exactly what this guy is doing. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. 
Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Misses with the right hand. Nice crack there. Really using his reach advantage to great effect with that punch there. Nice body shot. Yet again, kick to the body lands. Roy Ball's eye is closing up. Fast leg kick lands. Two minutes to go round two. Oh, got that head kick home. Oh, there's an effective counter with a straight punch. And again, he's got the... Oh! Yeah, that punch was blocked. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pin. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, he counters with a beautiful jab to the head. We told you off the top he's got a decided advantage in reach, and he put it to good use there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Different round, and the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown since his time. I mean, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Flying through the air and ah, the ah. Ten minutes in the can. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. It's okay. We expected this type of fight. We trained for this. We're bloody. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively, or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. Ready fight. Ready. Go. Round three of a possible five. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach. Oh. He's in a lot of trouble. Nice punch, man. Straight right hand, no good. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Circling away towards the left here. Oh, flying knee to the head. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now it's starting to show. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't... Got himself back on after 
getting hurt so bad early in the run. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Roy Ball's cut on his nose, manageable for a while, maybe not so much now. That thing is pouring blood. Under three minutes to go in our third round. Beautiful kick. Big shot lands for both guys. Flips the shot. Royval's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of slump. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Leg kick lands. Nice right punch followed by a left. Lands to the body. Roy Ball going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. This dude's midsection is officially unrecognizable at this point in time. You do see the corners get involved, maybe more for head shots or leg strikes, but they gotta be thinking about getting involved. Oh my God, sir. There it is again. Look at that. Now he's backed up. Can't take many of those, you better check. Big shot to the head. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Royval's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Oh, that's a big hook there. Just missed on the overhand left. Good head movement there. That was a nice break. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Royval gets caught with that punch. 20 seconds left. Slips. And he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but we got to like the output here down the stretch. All right. All right, that's three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do Fourth it. round now, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Right on the button. He 
does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Slips to avoid that left. Misses again with a right punch. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. He gets in single power by Look, man, look, keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the He can't miss it, eh? and when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that. And while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's gonna find himself in a dire situation. Royball's cut right on the bridge of this nose does not look good, folks. We'll continue to keep an eye on it. And you gotta think the ringside position will too. Referee might call him in here in short order. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with his dish. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Big punch lands through the middle. Checks the leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh! Oh! Back to his feet. Oh my goodness! Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Big right hook, but a whip. Roy Ball's an absolute mess right now. There's blood everywhere. I'm not so sure they're not going to stop this fight right now. Straight punch. Useful. Overhand punch to the head. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find his heart. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder. Oh. And that will go. Absolutely, J.A. There's nothing more exciting than a knockout in sports. You don't see it anywhere but mixed martial arts. This young man will celebrate this deep into the night as he should.